Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss uh, one strange gambit which is called England Gambit. So let's have a look. d4, black reacts with the e5, uh, already attacking the pawn on d4 and actually sacrificing on pawn. After d captures on e5, black continues with the knight to c6. White responds with a very natural knight to f3 move, protecting the pawn. Now black makes this queen to e7 move, intending to capture the pawn on e5 in the next move. After white protects the pawn with the simple bishop f4, the queen jumps to b4 with check. So here white has to be careful, the bishop is hanging, so there are not so many options. Uh, there are only two actually, bishop to d2 or queen to d2. And queen to d2 is uh, completely wrong because another object of attack is the pawn on b2. So after this move, black just captures on b2 attacking the rook. And if white tries to protect it with the queen to c3 move, there is a bishop b4 winning a queen. So this is the first trap. White has to be careful, as I said. So the right move after queen to b4 check is bishop to d2. So after that, black captures on b2, regaining the missing pawn. So it doesn't feel like a gambit anymore. And the rook is hanging. So once again, there is a choice between uh, two moves, knight to c3 and bishop to c3. And knight to c3 is correct, bishop to c3 is wrong. Why? Because of the same bishop to b4 move, pinning the bishop and attacking it, and not only bishop, but the rook as well, because bishop is pinned. So if uh, bishop captures on b4, then after simple knight takes before, it's unclear how white is going to protect both the c2 and the rook on a1. So black is winning here. Uh, if instead of taking the bishop on b4, white plays uh, something like queen to d2, well, it's possible to finish the game in a very nice way after bishop captures on c3 and queen captures on c3, protecting the rook, but losing the control over c1 square, black just puts the queen there with the checkmate. So this is uh, basically it about the traps, I mean. So uh, what white should do here after queen captures on b2 is to put the knight on c3. And now black is in trouble because uh, white has a perfect development. Uh, queen on b2 is definitely misplaced. Although it looks rather active than passive, but white has all the resources to uh, cover the main problem. It is the c2 point, which is not protected enough at the moment. So black may try some like knight b4 right now, creating sort of a knight c2. White has a perfect defense here, it is knight to d4. The knight may look a bit vulnerable because black can attack it immediately here with the c5. With a simple idea, if knight goes away, black just captures on c2. But white has a useful intermediate move here, rook to b1, forcing the queen away from c2. So after queen to a3, White continues the attack after knight to b5, queen goes to a5, and now just a3 getting rid of this active knight on b4. Uh, the idea is simple, if knight, for example, goes to c6, the easiest way for white to continue is knight to d5, attacking the queen with the bishop and creating a threat of knight to c7. So the only possibility for black here, uh, at least it seems like that, it's knight to a6, protecting c7 square, and then uh, white may choose different uh, moves here, knight e5 is still good, but knight e4 looks more convincing because now both knight uh, b5 and knight e4 control d6 square, and uh, one of them just lands there uh, in one or two moves. Queen should go away, for example, to d8, knight d6 is already great, but white may improve this with the help of bishop to g5, uh, now, uh, if bishop goes to e7, there is knight e6. If knight goes to e7, knight e6 leads to a checkmate. So black may try f6 in this situation, uh, where after white continues with the queen d5. Very strong move, uh, centralizing the queen and exerting pressure on f7. So once the knight is on d6, there is just a checkmate on f7, for example, after f takes g5, knight e6, Bishop captures d6, knight captures d6, check, and doesn't matter where the king goes, e7 or f8, queen goes to f7 with the checkmate. Another option is to try bishop b4 against knight to c3, so let's have a look at that direction. So here, 
bishop goes to b4 with the attack against the knight. White has the same option, just to play rook to b1, attacking the queen. Queen goes to a3 now, and the knight jumps to d5. Very strong uh, central position, attacking c7, which is abandoned after uh, queen decided to go through e7 to b4 and to b2. Bishop b4 is under attack. Uh, if, uh, for example, bishop goes to a5 here, just protecting c7 with the idea of recapturing with the queen in case white captures the bishop. White has another powerful move here, just rook b5, attacking the bishop and basically forcing the exchange on d2, which is good for white. After that, it will be a problem for black to cover c7. And if bishop goes to b6, white has simple tactics. It is rook takes b6, a captures b6, knight takes on c7, check forcing the king somewhere, so black is losing the right to castle in this game, then knight captures on a8, and white has a decisive positional advantage. So uh, black may try uh, capturing the bishop uh, on d2 right after knight to d5. Let's have a look at that possibility. So right after knight to d5, black captures on d2 with check. Queen captures on d2, and as we may notice, there is a problem because uh, pawn on c7 is heading. Uh, it's not possible to protect it with a queen from a5 because in that case, queen takes queen and knight captures on c7. So black has uh, two options here. If black protects the pawn with the king d8 move, white has two equally good options just to jump with the queen to g5 with check, attacking g7. And I think it's clear that white is having uh, a strong initiative here. Another option is just to continue the development, playing very simple e4 move. So uh, the development of the bishop to either c4 or b5 or d3 is prepared. Once white completes the development, uh, white will have an overwhelming position because with such a king, obviously it is impossible to uh, survive it. Uh, if black decides to capture the pawn on a2, then white spends one more move uh, because taking on c7 now uh, doesn't look good. King goes to d8 attacking the knight and the rook is hanging as well. So rook should go away. Rook goes to d1 in this case. Once again, black has nothing better than to play king to d8 to protect the c7 pawn, in which case uh, white has different options. Knight g5 looks very promising here, just attacking f7, which was abandoned one move ago. And uh, black can take on e5, black can play knight to h6. Let's have a look at knight e5 first. So knight captures the pawn, queen goes to c3 now, attacking the knight and the pawn c7 again. And what's important, g7 is also hanging, so knight cannot really uh, go uh, back to c6, let's say. So f6 may be tried here, uh, but then it's possible for white to either take on c7 or maybe even try queen to c5, tricky move, creating a threat of queen f8 checkmate because uh, after black's natural response d6, uh, queen takes c7 looks even better compared to immediate queen c7 because after king to e8, the queen gets the g7 as well. So completely lost position for black here. Another option is to protect f7 with the knight to h6. Let's have a look at that one as well. So here, knight goes to h6, covering the f7. Uh, the pieces placement is super ugly, but what's important, white has a direct way to punish black. So pawn simply goes to e6, very natural. The king is in the center, white is trying to open up a position. For example, f captures e6, knight takes on e6. It's not really a sacrifice, even because if black captures on e6, there is knight to b4, check, winning the queen. So. After knight to e6, black's king has to go to e8, where after knight captures on c7 with a decisive advantage as well. So that's basically it about the England gambit. In my opinion, if white avoids uh, all the traps that are not uh, so complicated, in fact, uh, then white gets very uh, convincing positional advantage, the advantage in development as well. So I would not recommend you to play England Gambit with Black. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.